for today's video, I'm gonna be making over this really interestingly colored dresser using our new decoupage paper and giving it a fun transformation. Don't mind me, slowly scraping off this top. I had to save Jamie from her screwdriver scraping. You just, I had the wrong tool, okay? <laughs> this is for drywall. I don't know that it's a better tool, but it's working. I'm just gonna do the top and then sand the rest, but the top was really irregular. Because I'm unsure of what exactly is on this dresser, there's a lot of situations, I just decided to get Salvation Solution in white and just really give it a great base coat. Plus, I need white underneath my decoupage paper anyways, so it's a win-win. This is gonna make my paint stick and my decoupage look amazing. Zeb is uh, the decoupage king. No, this stuff is, this is what makes it easy. The liquid patina? Yes. That's, that's some secret sauce, but you're the decoupage king. Oh. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. And now you're gonna see close work. Right. So the plan is he's gonna decoupage it on there and then we're gonna cut it with a razor blade and I'm gonna feather it in with a color on the outside. So we're doing an even coat of the liquid patina. And because we use Salvation Solution in white, we don't have to paint it before we decoupage it. Cause it'll be a nice background for our paper. And here comes the paper. Dun, 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 Do I look even on both sides? I didn't measure. Um, yeah. It's looking good. I always do this. Look, watch. Okay, that's that wide. And but you moved your finger. I didn't. It's exactly even. Here, just measure off the knuckle. And we're a little on this side. Okay, we're, scoot we're, it. We're pretty committed. It's we're committed? Easy. Okay. Time for some more liquid patina. Then once this dries, we'll get a razor blade and we will cut the paper. At least that's the plan. And we'll go from there. All right, so this is the precision. <laughs> Zeb is cutting the drawers apart. It's always precision. Yes. <laughs> uh, or sometimes just called winging it. <laughs> Once he's done with that, I'm gonna put on more decoupage medium just to make sure it's sealed down on all the sides and then we'll be ready to actually paint the dresser. All right, so I'm just going along these edges where we cut it and decoupaging them down so that way they stick and they're not like sticking up and raw edges exposed. The next step is I'm gonna be painting this dresser. I'm using DIY's Farm Fresh because it matches a lot of the shades that are in the succulents. And I'm just gonna use the same paintbrush that I used to put on the primer, I just washed it. You can pick up this paint and all these products at jamierayvintage.com. And I'm just gonna come along the edge. I will actually be painting the whole dresser, but along the edge, I'm just gonna kind of feather in the farm brush. And then I'll brush it and I'll feather it in and brush and feather it in and brush. It'll take a few coats to get perfect coverage, but I think it's gonna look really good. And then I'll come through and white wax everything and it'll mesh well. So next step, I'm going to distress it. I have 220 sandpaper. I'm gonna lightly hit the edges, go over the flat surfaces and sand the image below and then we'll be ready for wax. Okay, so next step is we're gonna be adding these cute little knobs. Um, they are small cast iron knobs and you're gonna say they're black and they're gonna stand out I'm going to white wax them and give them a little bit of a distressed look. So I think it's gonna be super cute 
So now I have to find where all the holes were. There we go. One down, seven to go. So I know that the black kind of sticks out, but I have a trick. I'm just gonna hit all the knobs with some DIY white wax. When you white wax the knobs, it just gives them like a really good aged patina. And it kind of makes them go away. And then I'm gonna go ahead and white wax the whole dresser and blend it all together. And then I'll just work in little sections and buff and wax and buff and wax until I get it all done. Okay, so pro tip about wax, it's kind of splotchy for the first 24 hours. They call it the wax freak out factor, so give it a day. If it's still a little splotchy, you can add some more wax and buff some more to even it out. If there's like big round splotches under your wax, that means there was some grease underneath there that you didn't get off. So all good things to remember. I'm gonna let this sit for a day. I'll buff it and I'll put pictures in the end of what it looks like. I think all in all, it turned out really good and a much better improvement from the orange yellow situation from the beginning. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Minted for more. Zeb, say DIY. 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 Zeb's over here working on shelves, so he couldn't be in the sign out. But they look good, Zeb. <laughs>